Oh yeah! Hello there guys, Yuri here again with the TF2 hat and game giveaway winners. And I'll also be answering all your guys' questions, so let's get started. So what I'm going to do for this giveaway video is that I'm going to answer some of your questions and I'm going to answer or announce one winner for the hats and games. So what I did is I took all the answers or comments from the YouTube video and put it into the spreadsheet then I'm going to use this number generator to pick the winner. So whatever number it lands on the generator is going to pick the winner for me. So I'm going to answer some of your questions first so let's get started. Okay the most popular question is when did I start at TF2? I probably started a year before it went free to play. That's the first time I've ever played it but I didn't really get into it until it went free to play because one of my friends said I should play it. So I did and basically kept playing. A question that's a little bit related to it is when did I start playing first person shooters? The first first person shooter I can think of that I've played is Tribes Ascend or yeah Tribes Ascend. Not a Tribes Ascend, Tribes Aerial Assault for the PlayStation 2. Which is if, quite a while back because it's PlayStation 2 and I still have the game somewhere. It's quite fun. Me and my brother always played it on co op or split screen. It was kind of fun, but it had like auto aim and stuff, which is kind of stupid, but you can't really play that type of game on a console. But I really got into first person shooters when. Halo 2 came out, and I always played that in my friend's house. Then I got really into Call of Duty 4 on Xbox. Then I started playing PC games, because consoles are not very good for playing first person shooters. Okay, another question is, how did I get my name and... Uh... Like, my YouTube channel name is Royal Blader, which came from a game that I used to play with my friends, which was called Fly for Fun, which is an actually a terrible MMO, so don't go out and play it. It's like 3D Maple Story. So all the game is is grinding and garbage like that, so don't even bother trying to look in that game up. It's pretty bad. But there was a class called the Blader, or the Blade class. So I was trying to make up a name for the my character and I was like trying to put stuff in like Royal Blood Blader which was what I got end up, ended up with because all the other names were taken so it's just Royal Blood Blader then I tried to make an Xbox Live account and I couldn't fit the whole name into the name thing on Xbox so I shortened it to Royal Blader and that kind of just stuck then I started changing my name on Steam a lot to Yuri because that's my last name. So, yeah. I bet you can't figure out what nationality that is. Haha. -ha. Okay, what is my favorite scout hat in miscellaneous? I don't really play scout that much and I don't really collect hats for that class. But I kind of like the Hero's Tale because it's from Butcher which I still haven't finished yet. I've played like two hours of the first game <laughs> just stop because the combat kind of sucks in the game but I might just play Witcher 2 but maybe for like a miscellaneous item I would probably say the fast learner or one of the jackets I kind of like the cleats too but they're pretty much useless or it just it makes a ball on the ground and you can kick it around and spawn but that's pretty much all you can do with the cleats Okay, what is the best unusual you've ever seen or hat and effect? I don't really pay attention to unusual hats. I probably can't even afford one either. Well, I probably could if I sold all my stuff, but I don't feel like really needing one. So, I'm not really sure, but I kind of like the... I forgot what, I think Miami Lights is what it's called. I think that's pretty cool, but... I haven't really dealt with unusuals before, so I can't really answer this question. How do you get profit in TF2? 
farms and buy and sell things. But how do I get profit? I just collect my weapons and just scrap them. That's pretty much all I do. I'm not really much of a trader, so whenever I get metal, I just buy something that I want. That's pretty much all I do for trading. Dude, what is my dream hat in TF2? I don't know. Uh, I pretty much like the loadout or the hat sets I uh, like for my soldier, which is the white bills hat, the uh, mine and chops pipe, and the uh, Christmas or I forgot what it's called. The Chris Kringle or Kringle Collection. But I do want to get some of the newer items for a soldier, like the horn blower, the brawling buccaneer, and the eagle thing. Those are kind of look cool looking, but I'm pretty good with what I have already. What kind of job do I have? I don't have one. Because I had too much stuff to do with school and stuff. And I wish I could get a job, so right now, if I were to get a job, I would try to get one at like at a computer repair shop because I like dealing with computers. And whenever someone comes to me, they always ask me for like computer help and stuff. So that's probably what I'm really good at. So I'm going to try to get a job soon after maybe this semester of college, so I'm not really sure. Where do I live and where do I go to college at? I live in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. Is that good enough for you? Okay, if I were to add a new class to TF2 and what, what, what stats would it have and what's the appearance, weapons, and speed? I don't know if I would add another class. Valve already pretty much have added another class, which is called a Demo Knight, which is pretty dumb. But I don't think I could even think of another class for the game, because all the classes are already pretty much different. I'm not sure what you would give a, an extra class. Okay, for the first winner, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to enter the maximum number of comment number thing so near the bottom is the bottom number is 470 so if the number in the generator lands on something with your comet you're gonna win one of the items or two of the items actually one hat and one game so the first hat and game I'm gonna give away is the steel shako for the soldier and cave story plus so let's enter the maximum number, which is 470. The winner is 407. Let's see if actually if it actually landed on anything. 407. Nope. So let's roll this again. 185. Okay, winner is Anton Cheryev. So congratulations, I'm going to be sending you a YouTube message. And so please reply to me with your Steam ID or a direct link to your Steam profile so I can add you, so I can trade you your ad in Steam game code for Cave Story Plus. What is my subscriber goal amount? I don't know, infinity? I'm not really sure because I just, maybe just more is my goal, but I don't have like a set amount, but if I were to do like another giveaway video or giveaway thing, maybe 2,500 subscribers. What is my favorite character in Super Smash Brothers? I wasn't very much of a Nintendo person growing up. I only had a, Ninten a Super Nintendo system, or whatever it's called, Super NES. But I never owned Super Smash Brothers. but whenever I went to one of my friends' place places, we usually play Super Smash Brothers Brawl, or whatever the GameCube version was. And I always picked Link because he had the swirling upward thing that my friend just got mad at whenever I played Link. 
so I just usually pick him. Yuri, how old are you? I'm seven. What TF2 weapons do you consider overpowered and why? I would consider almost every pyro weapon overpowered. Like, during the pyro update, they gave pyros 10% extra fire damage for whatever reason. They already have air blasts and they ha keep adding weapons to pyro that have crits just for no reason, like the extinguisher, flare gun, to pair that up with the degreaser with the time switching, which is just so unbalanced in my opinion. It's just, uh. If you have a strange market gardener, how many kills do you have on it? Uh, I haven't played TF2 in a while, so I have to look. So I have to go to my profile page. And I have 7,746 kills on it. I wish I would put up the, the whatever those things that count how many crit kills you have. I'm not really, I don't even remember what they're even called. But I started killing stuff with this thing before the, the Valve introduced those things to the game. So people kind of think I cheated with the kill count, but I have, don't really have a proof of any description of how I got that many kills other than just using it over and over again. In TF2, what was your best rocket jump you have done? I don't know. I don't even keep track of that. I don't know what they even means either. Like, what is the best jump I have ever done? I can't really answer this because I don't honestly just don't know. What TF2 game mode do you play the most? This can include custom ones. Uh, I mostly play King of the Hill because it's really fast paced and very balanced because most King of the Hill maps are symmetrical so they're both on the, they are the same on the boat on both sides so there's more fairness. The game mode that I play the least is Arena because no one plays Arena because it's awful. If I were to make any item in the workshop be in TF2, what it, would it be? It's not an item that I wanted, but there's like a thing for the parrot for the demo man to have actual voices in the game, which I, which is hilarious. I can link it in on the video. I wish that was in the game, but I think Valve denied it, denied it, or declined, whatever. So uh, there's no way that be in the game but I wish it really was because it's hilarious. Can you make a video on TF2 mods like prop hunt and dodgeball? I was planning to do like a prop hunt video series on my channel with friends on my server but my server stopped working since I switched internet service provider. So I might switch to my old internet service provider again but I'm not really sure, but... Dodgeball is very boring to watch. You're just air blasting a rocket back and forth at each other. It's not that great. But I do want to do some mod videos sometime. What is your favorite pyro loadout and why? I don't really like playing pyro because I find it to be a very boring class, but if I were to pick a my favorite pirate loadout. I would probably do a degreaser, flare gun, and extinguisher because it's overpowered. Okay, how rich am I in TF2? According to TF or backpack.tf2, I have 303 refined worth of items, so that's how rich I am. But I'm not really into the trading thing in TF2, but I don't think I'm rich compared to other people who have like every unusual effect of team captains, which is just, uh, why would you buy all those hats? Okay, for now the second winner. So this is for Offspring Fling and the Pom Pom 
uh, Provocator or whatever it's called. It's a spy hat. So let's roll a new number. Uh, 231. See if that landed on anyone. Yes, Ganhu, you won. So please, I'm gonna send you a YouTube message. So reply to me with your Steam ID or direct link to your Steam profile. Congratulations. Okay, uh, how often do I play TF2? Or this doesn't say TF2, it just how it is. How often do you play? So I'm guessing this has to do with TF2. I haven't been playing much recently because of my college classes taking up most of my time in the week. So I haven't really been playing at all. But I used to be playing like four hours a day, which is kind of too much. But not as much as other people who just sit in trade servers trying to buy and sell stuff. But I wish I could play more. Do I like anime? I'm not a big watcher of anime or reader of manga and stuff, but I've been watching animes like Attack on Titan and a little bit of Naruto. They're kind of slow and Naruto just has way too much filler episodes in the show, it's kind of irritating. And Attack on Titan can be over dramatic at times, it's like, no one would do this. But I think anime is fine, I'm just not a big watcher of it. Is the market gardener my favorite weapon? Pretty much yeah. Because it's it's a skillful weapon, but it's also an overpowered weapon, but yeah, I like to use it. Do I eat foreign food? I live in Hawaii where the Asian population is like 70%, so I guess Asian food is considered foreign, but here it's pretty much a local thing. So yeah, I do like Asian food, so like teriyaki, or pretty much anything teriyaki I would eat. There's a local restaurant here that has like Kalbi steak, which I like, and it's pretty cheap too. You get like 10 ounces of steak for like $16. I like eating there. What is my college major? At my college, it's called CENT, which is short for Computers, Electronics, Networking, and Technologies. So it's basically Information Systems or Computer Science. Do I think the Market Gardener is balanced, or do I need it, or it needs a buff or a nerf? I don't think it needs a buff or a nerf, but I do think it's slightly overpowered compared to like the stock shovel, but. Pretty much every weapon or stock melee weapon is underpowered compared to like every other melee weapon. But Marker Gardener does require some skill to use, so I don't really think it needs a nerf. Okay, next question is What got you into competitive TF2 and what class do you main and do you play or do you currently play competitive? So, I first got into competitive by someone who plays on the server that I like to play on. He's like, he messaged me, hey, do you play soldier? I'm like, yeah, do you want to, and he was like, do you want to play soldier for our team? And I'm like, sure. So that's pretty much how I got into competitive TF2. But a main soldier or roaming soldier in 6v6 and do I currently play? competitive right now oh, because my college classes are in the way and whenever I think the when I get home the match already starts that's how some of my games were in the last season or yeah I think season the spring season of this year so I just didn't feel like playing competitive while taking these classes what is my favorite class and what is my favorite loadout? My favorite class is the soldier because he's so different from the other classes and he can rocket jump everywhere which is fun to do. My favorite soldier loadout would be 
probably stock lock rocket launcher or the original with gunboats and the market gardener or with the the escape plan. I just really like the soldier class because he's very mobile and he just gets around the map very quickly. And he can do tons of damage. Who or what inspired you to making videos? And when did you start making videos? I started making my videos like a long time ago, but a lot of them were garbage. And some of them are still garbage, but I started my YouTube channel like in 2008 and didn't really do anything with it, but my channel pretty much got popular since August of last year when I uploaded that TF2 troll kit video or whatever it is. It's not that good, but people seem to like it and keep watching it for some reason. But what inspired me to make videos? Uh, since April, I got partnered with TGN, so I just decided just to make more videos. Like my competitive, competitive videos, my co commentary videos, and my Let's Play videos on Oblivion and Dishonored. So that's pretty much how I got started on YouTube. Why aren't I on Orange as much anymore? Because I'm not on my computer all day anymore. I'm at college. Uh, okay, for now the final winner of the giveaway for Brutal Legend and the Genuine Stylehelm for the Soldier class. So let's pick a new number. So let's roll a new number. 189. That'd be funny if someone landed again. So. Dar good Dara GP you won so I'm gonna be sending you a YouTube message so please reply back to me with your Steam ID or a direct link to your Steam profile. And the most important question someone asked me is pancakes or waffles? I prefer pancakes because waffles get soggy after you put syrup on them and you could put much more stuff into pancakes. And for that I'm going to give you the basement collection just for asking the most important question of all. So there. Okay I think that's all the questions and answers with all the contest winners as well so thank you all for entering and subscribing to my channel. and. Hopefully this channel will continue to grow and I'd like to thank you all again and I'll see you guys next time.